Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to add the mouse and keyboard on your overlay for OBS. So as you can see here, I'm gonna show you how to add it so you can see every key you press. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Okay, to get started, this is for OBS or Streamlabs or anything else that you'd be able to add a, a source to. This is gonna be pretty much a Windows capture. So all I'm gonna do for this here is I'm gonna use a program called Noah Board. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go download that now. We're just going to exit this. Okay, now that we exited the game there, as you can see, it shows up over here. And this is what it actually looks like off screen. So this is pretty easy to set up all in all. It's actually not really hard. All you have to do is just add it as a key, as a, a window capture device, and you'll be able to just turn it on and off. Uh, the downside about this here is it's something that I have to launch each time that I want to load it up. So I do have to launch this each time. This is going to be pretty easy to find. We're just going to go over to Google and search for Noah Board. This can be found on the OBS Projects website, and it's used by quite a few people. So there is actually an obsprojects.com page that will lead you to the GitHub page. All we'll need to do is click go to the download. This is still going to bring you over to GitHub, but at least it brings you to the spot where you can just download the zip. From here, just download the zip. Once it's done, give it an open. We'll want to extract this, so go to your downloads folder. We're just going to open up the location where we downloaded it, and we're just going to extract all. Click extract. And now this is the one you want. You don't want to move this here anywhere. You want to make sure that you put it wherever you're going to put it. So for me, we're just going to jam this here on the desktop. I'll bring this here over here out of the way. We'll give this one here a close for now because we're going to set up this here new one. So I'm going to put this one here right here and we're going to close this. Just give it an open. You are going to have to set it up. The first time that you download this, you are going to have to set it up. So just give it a click. It's going to open this here blank blue screen. And we're going to want to go to either load keyboard or settings. So for keyboard, there's multiple different layouts you can go through. Uh, there's game legacy, arrow, numpad. And you can click through them and it will show you some of the things that are in here. Same as normal for your full keyboard. For us, we're going to go through and we're going to look at this one here that says JOA07 YouTube and click on it. It's going to have the best selection. It's actually going to show your mouse and keyboard. So you can go down through these ones here and select the different ones. It'll give you some different colors. So you'll be able to use white. And there's just a few other ones that kind of give you a little bit more visibility on the stream. So you'll be able to put white around them like this one here. And all I suggest doing is just going and looking through the best one. So this one here might be a good one. Okay, we're going to close. And that's as easy as it is. Now, when you close it and reopen it, it should reopen to the last one that you had. And there you go. From here, we're just going to go into OBS. So once you have your keyboard set up the way you want it so that it shows the keys, it's the right color. As you can see, it already changed on mine. It's okay. We'll go over how to add it anyways. We'll just give that one a hide. For us though, we're just going to go to window capture. We definitely want to use window capture. This is going to be the easiest way. We're going to name it. Make sure that you name it keyboard and mouse. So we're going to be KBM. Click OK. And then from the drop down, just select your NOAA board. And that's it. Just click OK. After that, it is going to kind of look a little bit ugly, but that's OK. We can get rid of this here green really easy by adding chroma key. So we can just go over here and click add filters. In filters, we're just going to go in here and add the second one down. It's called chroma key and click OK. That's all you need to do and then just close it. Don't touch any other settings unless there's some weird things happening. Just close it. And there you go. It'll be see-through. The green will be all gone. And then you just have to make sure you leave this here open. So you can shrink it down and just put it in the corner somewhere or drag it off to your other monitor. And then your keyboard will be showing on stream. And that's as easy as it was to get your keyboard on stream. I did cover one if you want to know how to add a controller to your stream or on OBS of any kind. I do have a video covering that as well. So if you'd like to check it out, I'll make sure to leave that in the description as well. But that's it for this one here. I just wanted to go over quickly how to add your mouse and keyboard to showing your overlay. So that's it for this one here. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.